Hello friends, in this video we will see about probability density function and also we will solve some questions related to probability density function which comes in exams towards the end. Before we jump into probability density function which is usually abbreviated as PDF, let us see what is continuous random variable. Let us say there is a famous burger shop, they are saying that each burger is about 100 grams. If they are producing 100 burgers, not every burger will be exactly 100 gram. It is very difficult for a burger to be exactly 100 gram. It will be 100.1 gram, another burger will be 99 gram, another will be 102 gram and so on. So it always lies within a range of infinitely possible outcomes. So it is a continuous random variable. If you take a random burger and let us say its weight is h. So h is a continuous random variable which will be represented by probability density function. You pick up a random burger and you want to know what is the probability that h is something. So you represent it by probability density function. Let us say you want to find out probability that burger lies within 99 to 101 gram. So this is the probability you want to find out. For that you will need a probability density function. Let us say how this work, let us see how this works out. If this is h, probability density function is represented by f of h. First let us draw a histogram of gap 1. If we, take, uh, if we take random burgers, some will be of weight 99.5, 99.6 and so on, but many will be within this range. Most of the burgers will be within this range. 101 to 102 it will be very less, 102 to 3 again it will be less, 99 to 98 and so on. If you reduce the histogram size, this will become even thinner, like let us say 0.5 is the difference. 100, 100.5, this is 99.5. So you will get very thin lines. And if you keep on doing this, it will become a curve like this. This is f of x and this is h, infinitely small interval. So this is probability density function. So how is it represented mathematically? Probability of a less than or equal to h less than or equal to b equal to integral f of h dx. Let us say this is a and this is b. Integral f of h dx a to b represents this area. Suppose a is 99 grams and b is 101 grams. This is the probability we want to find out. So we try to find out this area that is nothing but probability density function and this whole area should be equal to 1 which is represented as minus infinity or whichever range they tell f of h dx equal to 1. If we solve a problem we will get to know about it more clearly. Let us see with the problem. They are saying that f of h equal to 2h this is the function and h lies from 0 to c. First we have to find out c. For it this to be a valid probability density function integral write the range 0 to c 2h dx equal to 1. This whole probability should be 1. Probability cannot be greater than 1. So if we solve this we can find out c. By normal integration process this will be 2 h squared by 2, 2 will get cancelled, 0 to c equal to 1 that is c squared minus 0 square equal to 1 which means c is equal to 1. So for this f of h equal to 2 h to be a valid probability density function c is 1. Let us say someone is interested in finding out the probability that half less than h less than or equal to 1. It lies between half to 1, the h value. 
if we draw a graph between f of x and h so the density function says f of x equal to 2x so we are interested in knowing the value half to 1 x can not be greater than c which is 1 so we are interested in knowing this area so if you solve this integral f of x dx a to b half to 1 f of x dx this will give you the probability half less than or x less than or equal to 1 so f of x is 2x 2x dx becomes x square so 1 square minus 1 by 2 the whole square which is 3 by 4 so this area is 3 by 4 which gives you the probability that h lies between half to 1 this problem came in gate 2013 they are asked to find the value of lambda such that function f of h is a valid probability density function note the word valid here so integral the range here the range is 1 1 to 2 f of h dx equal to 1 so if you solve for this you will get the value of lambda it is as simple as that so integral 1 to 2 lambda x minus 1 2 minus x dx equal to 1 further you can expand this equation take the lambda outside so x into 2 is 2x minus x into 1 becomes plus x so plus 3x and x into minus x is minus x square minus x square plus 3x minus 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 2 so this dx equal to 1 further lambda if you solve for the integral minus x cube by 3 plus 3x squared by 2 minus 2x 1 to 2 equal to 1. You can take the LCM as 6. 3 into 2 is 6 minus 2x cube plus 9x squared minus 12x. If you put 2 and 1 here, you will get the value of lambda as 6. so the answer is 6 the value of lambda is 6 for the function f of x to be a valid probability density function thank you guys for watching the video to continue to watch more videos subscribe to our channel